right, hey, welcome back to the shop. Oh, I got myself a new piece of equipment here. This, obviously, isn't gonna make car building any better or faster, but we might be able to do some detail work and some bracketry for future projects, current projects, and that type of stuff a little bit easier. And I might just have a little fun on the side. So, let's take a quick look at what we got. So what we picked up here is a big cardboard box with a bunch of foam in it. So it's an expensive cardboard box with expensive foam in it. But what is actually in the box is something inside that foam. So what we got here is a CNC router machine thing. All right, so I've been keeping an eye on these things because I've wanted CNC machine for years, but they were so out of whack in pricing that they just weren't really worth it. And with the proprietary controllers they had, they kind of sucked. But as they are now, you can get some halfway decent Chinese built items. And they'll have things sitting not half bad. This is essentially our new setup. Let's bring her in a little bit closer so we can take a look at why I went with this particular model and not one of the other ones. One of the big things was I was looking for the decent rail setup. And you see this has this uh, linear type rail versus these shaft style rails. So these up here tend to be a little more rigid. Zip it back a little bit. These up here tend to be a little more rigid than these shaft style. So I like that. A lot of these things came similar to this, but where this one kind of won out is I wanted this Z axis to have the same linear rails. So that's where I kind of fell upon this guy. This is the brand Anolix or however you want to pronounce it. It is definitely Chinese but at least when you knock off a high-end item you get a pretty decent knockoff. Anyways, it comes with a whole bunch of stuff, a bunch of parts.
a whole bunch of parts. So I guess the th big thing is, maybe we should start off by connecting our gantry up. Okay, those look like uh, board hold downs. Bunch of cheap ass little bits. Those might come in handy. Some standoffs. Couple wrench things. This says it's a bag of spare parts, apparently. Okay. Some washers. Oh, here's these guys. More wires. Standoffs over there. Little screws. This must be a sample piece of acrylic or something to do something with. I don't know. Let's throw that over there. Maybe we should get out the instructions. That might be a good place to start. Comes with a super cheap USB. That might have something valuable on there. But the big part is the instructions. Welcome, please scan this thing. We've got a bunch of things. Ah, oh, some of this must be what we got in these boxes. All right, there's the board. That's probably what their standoffs are for. And this should be a power brick. Yes, it is. Aha! All right, power brick. We got a little, probably our little gerbil board. We'll leave that sealed up for a while. Why well, we put everything to good use? Cables. Cables, controller box. Aha! Our stop switch and our Z probe. Ain't that something? All right. So these guys can hang out with this board that's gonna go over there. Chuck these stuff that we don't need over there. All right. Rubber stuff. Sample MDF. All right, well, and anyways. Aha! These are to space your uh, rail nuts on the side here. That's kind of a nice, nice touch there. Cause that's the same spacing as what the holes are in the side of the gantry. So they give you that so you can line up your little bolts halfway decent. Now I'm sure if you assembled a lot of these things, this would be second nature and it wouldn't be a problem to just eyeball it and wing it. So, let's get our Z-axis over here.
Okay, yeah, so wiring sucks really bad. All right, so guess since we got her on and our computer finally finished this update to Windows 10. So that's always excellent. Let's just give her a little plug here in. They really need a longer USB cord. That's gonna be negative number one. Well, I guess let's just do an included, included test hit and See where we go from there.
Red didn't turn out too bad. Well, it looks like I've got a bunch of playing to do. And I get to see what I can continue to create with this thing. Not too bad. Anyways, well that's it for me today. Thanks for stopping by and watching. Hopefully, we'll see you again later.